same for neurofilaments. And when we measured the actual, so these were the uh, bacterial peptides. Now we're measuring bovine peptides. So these are autoantibodies, bovine myelin, prion neurofilaments, and again, elevated tetas and myelin, elevated tetas and prion, elevated neurofilaments. So we had autoantibodies to sequences in Acinetobacter present which resemble myelin, which resemble neurofilaments, which resemble prions, and these antibodies then attack the brain, cause damage to the uh, brain tissue, and cause BSC. Now since, our, I think I'll skip this, I won't discuss Professor uh, Brown's hypothesis. He critiqued by, I will say, it. Professor Brown from the the NIH Institute of Neurology in Washington criticized our results that uh, those, pe those bacteria have been killed by the heating at 80 degrees centigrade. So we tested the stability of the peptides we have used and we tested them for 50 hours to see how much of the original shape will remain. And you can see that this MBM is only used for about 20 minutes. So the majority of the peptides have not lost their shape and therefore they would have been immunogenic and cause antibodies which uh, resembled the brain components. So our working hypothesis of BSC is caused by exposure to Acinetobacter antigens. Invest this has been reported in the American journal Clinical and Diagnostic Lab Immunology about two years ago. And we examined patients with multiple sclerosis compared to patients with strokes, cerebrovascular accidents, and blood donors. This is Acinetobacter in the IgA. IgM and IgG, and you can see MS patients in London have antibodies to Acinetobacter. And we can use the MAN index to actually identify patients with MS compared to patients who have strokes. And at the moment, it is difficult to diagnose MS in early stages, but this test may provide us with a uh, lab test to identify patients with multiple sclerosis. Now the question arises, the multiple sclerosis patients were not fed MBM, so how did they get antibodies to Acinetobacter? <coughs> well, we do know that 50% of patients with MS suffer from sinusitis, that is, inflammation of the nasal sinuses, and the frequency of sinusitis in the general population is 5%. So we're back to the situation with HLA B27. 8% in the general population, 96% in AS patients. Here we have 50% of MS patients have sinusitis and uh, in the sinuses uh, there are reports from Miami which show that uh, if you do nasal drainage of the maxillary sinuses, 30% of those uh, patients who have their nasal sinuses drained, uh, you can grow Acinetobacter from uh, these uh, uh, cultural connections. So we can diagnose multiple sclerosis with uh, this particular index and we can measure response therapy in relation to any treatment that we may have in mind for multiple sclerosis. Now this brings us to the question, what do the patients with variant CJD die of? Remember we've got over 120 patients who died of variant CJD uh, over the last uh, 12 years in the United Kingdom. Now if these patients died of this new disease, variant CJD, fine. But uh, could they belong to another disease, another group? And the most obvious group is multiple sclerosis, since multiple sclerosis patients have antibodies to asthma tobacco. These are the figures for mortality in the United Kingdom, in England and Wales, not United Kingdom, Scotland, not England and Wales, for 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 685, 712, 703, 800, 758, 696, roughly 700 people die per year in, the United, in England and Wales for multiple sclerosis. That's two to three per day are dying of multiple sclerosis. Now these patients have not had brain examinations to see if got spongiform appearance. We've actually carried out an analysis of age at death of patients with multiple sclerosis. And you can see that some 7% of these patients are below the ages of 40 which is the group with variant CJD. So our hypothesis is that variant CJD doesn't exist, that variant CJD is just a form of multiple sclerosis. And uh, 
if it is a form of multiple sclerosis, we should then test for antibodies to Acinetobacter in both sporadic and variant CJD. We have been blocked from testing variant CJD for multiple sclerosis. And the, we have been blocked not by the doctors, we have been blocked by the lawyers of the patients who have died, their families, because they're preparing a legal case against the government that they died as a result of eating BSC-affected meat. And I showed you there was no evidence for this at all in the British literature. But they, the lawyers block us studying variant CJD patients, so I cannot give you an answer. But we tested only two sporadic CJD, and they have antibodies to asthma and tobacco. We've also tested six patients in Austria with uh, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, and they have high levels of antibodies to asthma and tobacco. So, uh, to make this long story short, I uh, shall just...